Well, hello there. Thanks for joining us. In this video, we're going to be talking to you about what to expect when you arrive at the airport in Canada. What kinds of questions um, is the Canadian immigration uh, officer likely to ask you and how should you respond? So please don't go away. Stay with us. And as always, remember to hit the like button so others can see more videos like this. Subscribe to our channel and uh, check us out on our website at go.gooselaw.com. We'll be right back. Hi there, welcome back. My name is Donovan Francis and I'm a Canadian immigration lawyer and I help skilled workers who are here inside Canada and those who are outside Canada to become Canadian permanent residents without having to deal with all of the complicated legal forms that are part of that process. Now, if you are planning to travel to Canada, uh, to fly to Canada, then there are certain questions that you can expect that the Canadian um, Border Services Officer, the Canadian Immigration Officer, is going to be asking you. You know, um, the Canadian authorities will want to know that uh, by admitting you into Canada that you will not pose any kind of uh, risk or, or harm to the Canadian society and that the need to admit you into Canada outweighs any potential um, negative impacts that may occur from you uh, being admitted into the country. And so because of that, the, the officer is going to be asking you questions to try to ascertain um, whether or not you should be allowed into the country. And so one of the things that the officer is going to be asking, or, or at least trying to find out, is who you are and who you're coming to visit here in Canada. You know, the officer will want to know if uh, you are somebody who has uh, any particular uh, inadmissibility, for instance, if you have had a criminal issue in the past that may potentially prevent you from coming into Canada, the officer will want to know that. Um, similarly, the, office will want, the officer will want to understand uh, who you're coming to be uh, to spend time with in Canada so that they can be clear on that. So that's going to be important. That's something that the officer will, will ask. The next question the officer will, will, will likely ask is, why are you visiting Canada? What's your purpose in Canada? Now, if you're coming as a tourist, for instance, you want to be truthful about your purpose in Canada. You want to state that you're coming as a tourist and you're, you're wanting to state that you're coming to visit, not that you're coming to work or you're coming to study, right? If the purpose of your visit, the, the purpose of your reason to Canada is different, from the actual uh, purpose for which the, the visa was issued, then that is going to pose a problem and, and it is possible that you might not be admitted into, into Canada. We've had personal experiences where clients upon arriving at the airport have indicated to the officers that their, their purpose here is to do something completely different um, than uh, what was issued, um, uh, than the purpose for which their visa was issued. You know, um, uh, there's a client who indicated that uh, his purpose really was to uh, get a work permit and to work. But the purpose of your, your, your initial uh, visa um, uh, approval was to allow you to come to Canada as a tourist to visit. And so you want to be uh, clear on your purpose and you want to be honest and you want to ensure that your purpose um, in Canada correlates with the actual purpose for which your visa was issued. So that's going to be important. So the who, the why, um, the what uh, ties into that. You know, what are you going to be doing uh, while you're here? It ties in, uh, into, into that. The when, the officer will likely want to understand when are you planning to leave Canada. Now, if you're coming here as a tourist, it would be in your best interest to have a return ticket so you can show the officer that you really have an intention to return to your home country um, when your time here in Canada uh, expires. So that's going to be the, 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 another important reason. And so those are going to be just some of the questions that an officer is likely going to be asking you when you arrive at the airport and you will want to be prepared. Now, um, where our clients have um, potential issues that could potentially cause an officer to prevent them from uh, entering Canada, then we're able to prepare a special package um, that you would be able to take with you and present to the officer upon arrival here, um, explaining whatever potential issues there might be and thereby minimizing the likelihood 
of the officer not allowing you to remain in Canada, but rather requesting that you return to your home country. So, so that's something that we help with and something we'd be happy to help you with uh, should you ever require it. And so I trust you found value from this video. And as always, remember to like this video so others can see more videos like this. Uh, subscribe to our channel and um, check us out on our website at go.goslaw.com. Thank you.